What's up, girl friends? Welcome back to the channel. It's Elena, aka Lady Smash. And today we are going to be trying, finally, <laughs> the Do B Girl Collection Crazy Sexy Curl, the Honey Setting Honey, what is it called? Supercharged Honey All in One Setting Foam. It's supposed to be able to detangle, condition, define, hold, and shine. That's what it says. Okay. So, shout out to my girl, NAF3, for sending this to me. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. So, I'm finally getting to try this. It's actually starting to get cold here in Georgia. Today is, I want to say, November 13th. And today is actually like our first cold day. It's like 50-something degrees with a low of 30-something. So, it's pretty cold. But, I read on here that um, you can sit under the dryer with this one unlike the other one the mousse def they want you to air dry so i figured it'd be good i can still use this because if i need to i'll just go ahead and sit under the dryer and i won't get you know sick or cold or anything from having a wet head but i did want to go ahead and try this um and that like this is my last wash and go y'all of the year um because it's getting cold so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and try this today but before we do if you're new here hey girl hey i hope you stay um my name is elena and i do natural hair product reviews i'm also on an ayurvedic hair journey um I'm a, I'm a mom i'm a wife so there's mom life stuff over here wife life stuff over here um and yeah i just like to share you know my world over here i'm a crafter i just launched my new wax melt business um, so if you if you love wax melts and, and smell good stuff, definitely check out my link in the description box so you can get you some wax melts. Uh, right now we have the fall fragrances out, but um, shortly after Thanksgiving, I'll be launching the holiday fragrances. So make sure you go check that out. Like I said, link in the description box below. And I'm so glad that you're here today. So let's get started on this wash and go, y'all. All right, so I've already washed my hair. Um, as y'all can see, it's trying to start shrinking up on me. So I've got my trusty water bottle here. Um, this is just water in here. Y'all know the blue means water. And this is the old As I Am um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil bottle, which I really want to get some more of this. I've been out of it for a really long time, but I think I'm ready to go ahead and buy some more. But we'll see. I'm not sure when. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and start suctioning off just a little bit of hair here so we could get started. Got some clips here. And let's see what this uh, mousse is all about. So it says, for best results, do not apply oil to the hair before applying this product. Apply a liberal amount to clean, damp hair in small sections, smoothing from roots to ends. Air dry, hood dry, or diffuse. Allow hair to dry 100% before separating curls. Uh, what it do? This all-in-one styler conditions, detangles, defines, and sets, wash and goes, twist outs, braids, and TWAs in one step. Fast drying with flexible holes and no frizz or flaking. What's good? Catatonic honey, aloe, bamboo, vitamins B and E, and silk amino acids. So that's all. Everything it says on the back there. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see how this works out in my hair. Y'all know um, when I use the mousse def, the way it looked just as a regular wash and go, just leaving it out, I didn't really like the way that it sat. And it works better for me in a high puff. So I'm hoping that this will work well as just like a regular, you know, out hairstyle for the wash and go. But we'll see what happens. All right, so let's start applying. So I use a liberal amount. So that's about how much I'm going to use. Let's smell it. Okay, it has a weird smell. I do kind of smell the honey in it though. Yeah, it's okay. It's not, you know, a fragrance that. Yeah, I don't. I don't like fragrance. <laughs> Let me just say that I don't like the way it smells. I'll say that. 
So anyway, we are going to start applying. Let's see how well it detangles. Even though my hair is already detangled, it does tend to tangle up on itself as it's starting to dry. So, as you can see, but they seem to be coming out pretty good. So I'm able to still run my fingers through my hair. Okay. Now this, I don't know, it doesn't feel as moisturizing as the Mousse Def one, but I do feel some moisture in it. Let me just turn around and show y'all how that section came out. Okay. And I'm just gonna continue applying it to the rest of my hair. Okay, y'all, so we're all done with that first section. This is what we're looking like. Okay, my hair still feels light. Like there's not, you know, mousse gives you a lighter holding than gel would, so it doesn't weigh the hair down, so that's nice. Um, hopefully I didn't put too much. This said to use a generous amount. I use two um, pumps for each section that I, you know, did here. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work. Looks like it's already trying to shrink up on me. So hopefully it dries fast as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply to the rest of my hair and then I will be back. All right, so we're all done. Finished applying and this is how it's looking, y'all. It is sounding like the foam is foaming in my ear and everything, but um, it feels good. Like I said, it does not feel heavy at all. Um, it was pretty easy to put on. Like I did not, like it was quick. I didn't have a hard time applying it. Um, it did help me to detangle. Like I said, I was having a few tangles there. And so the tangles pretty much came out as I was running my fingers through, trying to, you know, get it on each section. Also this time, I tried to make sure that I got my roots because um, when I tried that mousse staff, I started to get some frizzing in my roots and in other areas. But I did go ahead and use, like I said, two pumps on each section that I kind of sectioned off. So I feel like the hair is coated thoroughly. So yeah, this is what we're looking like. Let me do a 360 for y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then when it's all dry, I'll come back and show y'all the results, okay? So be back in a little bit. All right, so I am back, and this is what we are looking like. Um, curls look very, very good. There's even some shine going on. Look very, very good. Now, this dried like this because I had my robe on, <laughs> and I, I was a little cold. So it kind of dried like a, a bob almost, like kind of coming down. So, but um, I still have to stretch it out. So it's not bad. At least it doesn't look like the previous time. Remember how, the, like I was saying, the little curls were looking crazy and then the rest of the hair was shrunken up? It don't look like that. <laughs> so I really, really like this. Now it is still a little bit wet, well damp, um, like right in here and in the back here. Let me just show y'all. Um, yeah, it's still wet like up in here and like in the roots just a little bit 
So I am gonna go ahead and sit up under the dryer for the rest of the time. I feel like it's set good enough to wear um, it's not going to really shrink up anymore as I sit up under the dryer. So I think we pretty much secured how it's going to be looking. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased y'all. And look at how like this section over here even kind of stayed in place. I feel like this mousse laid my hair down better than that other one. Like even here where I just kind of brushed this back and put a bobby pin. Like this whole thing, it didn't, it's not puffed up. You know, like when my hair dries it shrinks up and then it puffs up as well well yeah this part puffed up a little bit but i like the way that it's laying you get what i'm saying okay that right <laughs> but yeah no I, i'm really feeling this i am really feeling this um i can't wait to see what it looks like tomorrow like after i stretch it and sleep on it um so far yeah there's a little bit of a cast there but i feel like once i sleep on it it's one of those casts that will just completely break and should be a flexible hold like the bottle says it is so yeah y'all i'm gonna go i'm gonna go sit under the dryer because i know i'm cold too like it's really cold today like we have a freeze morning and so i thought that i would get this done before the cold weather came in but i didn't and so since i haven't you know i've been kind of sitting around with wet hair and so i'm getting a little chill on my on my bones now so I want to go ahead and put my robe back on. Let's get the rest of this hair dry. I'm sitting under the hair dryer. And then I guess I will come back tomorrow and show y'all what it's looking like. All right. Yeah. But uh, so far, so good. All right. So it's the next day. And this is what we're looking like. Look, y'all. This came out so nice. I'm loving it. Check it out. Super, super pleased with these results. Oh, my hair stuck in my earring. Um, y'all, okay, so let's talk about it. There is definitely some shine here. I know y'all can see the shine on my hair. It feels good, okay? There's still a little bit of a cast here. Um, actually, there's not a cast, but uh, like you can feel the stiffness um, from the product. So, but the cast is pretty much gone. Um, but yeah, definition is sick as you can see um that the hold is there okay i feel like this is gonna hold up really really well i like the way it like i like the way my hair laid with this um if you remember when i tried the mousse def after it had dried it dried really really funky like it was just weird um and then when i tried to stretch it out it still was looking kind of weird and it didn't look right or good until i actually put it up in a puff so i don't know what the deal was with that if that was like user error or it's just the way that mousse works on my hair we'll have to try it again so we'll try it again uh when it gets warm again because as i said this is my last wash and go of the year so we'll try that again next year and um yeah we'll see how that works out but this stuff here y'all i like this stuff and there's no really no smell like yeah, the smell doesn't linger. Um, I, that's one thing that I have to say I don't like about the product. I don't like the smell of it, but the results are, are undeniable, as you can see. So, um, yeah, I'm giving this one definitely thumbs up. Worked really, really well for my hair. Um, I'll try to pop back in later in the week. Today is Monday. Um, so I'll try to pop, pop back in later in the week and show y'all what it's looking like as the week progresses uh, So we can see just how well this actually holds up. I definitely think it's gonna last um, I think it's gonna last the whole week to be honest with you because like I said the hold is definitely there Even though it's flexible and like I said, they feel a little stiff. It's still Well, even though it's still a little stiff. It's still flexible. That's what I want to say um, So yeah, I think it's definitely gonna hold up Okay, and um, I got the roots a little bit better this time, so there's not, um, like, I don't really feel any frizz right now. Yeah, I don't feel any frizz at all right now, um, or like that fro feeling that you get at the roots sometimes. I don't feel that, um, so I made sure to, to actually, you know, get the product on the roots and then all the way down. And then, like I was saying before, I like the way it laid. 
Remember when I was putting the clips in my hair? That was just a few uh, wash and goes before. I would put a clip here and then I would put a clip here. Well, I didn't have to do that with this. Like the way that my hair was laying after applying the foam and then the way it dried, like this is how it dried. <laughs> it just was perfect. It just dried perfectly. So I really like that about this too. Um, I'm really feeling like this will be my go-to mousse for wash and goes because it just worked out so well. So I want to say this might be my favorite mousse of the year um, this year just because of the way it um, it did my wash and go. You know what I mean? So we'll have to try it with some other styles. I forget what it said that it could do, what other styles it was good for, but it's definitely good for a wash and go. So as you can see. All right, so I will pop in later in the week to let y'all know and see how it actually held up. All right, I'll see y'all later. Guess what day it is, y'all? Guess what day it is? I'm, I'm gonna let y'all think about it for just a second, but take a look in the meantime. Guess what day it is? Today's Friday. <laughs> Today is Friday, y'all, and my hair still looks amazing. Okay, these curls are amazing. I have not put anything in my hair all week. Nothing. No refreshing. No. Only thing I put in was like a little bit of edge control to um, kind of like push this back a little bit. And an aloe vera juice. Just this front here. Nowhere else. Nowhere else, just here, okay? That's it. Nothing on my strands, nothing. My hair still feels really good, y'all. It feels so soft, okay? You can see it's crazy, like, flexible holds here, all right? Definition, silly. I mean, come on. This stuff is amazing. This stuff is amazing. I'm going to say this is going to be my favorite mousse of 2022. Out of the couple, the few mousses that I've tried for washing goes, this is the one. This is the one. So, um, I don't think there's really much else to say. <laughs> what do y'all think? I don't think there's anything to say. Um, let me know if you've tried this B-Girl um, Crazy Sexy Curl Honey Setting Foam. How have you used it? Have you used it for a wash and go, twist out, braid out, whatever? Let me know in the comment sections down below. Definitely going to be using this in the winter months. Hands down, we're going to be using this for some kind of rod set or something. Braid out, twist out, something. I'm going to be doing something with this. And I'm definitely going to be using this again next year as it gets starts to get warm. Um, just in the place of gel. You know, just kind of switch it up sometimes. Because y'all know I'm like a gel girl. But yeah, as far as mousses are concerned and um, washing goes, it's a winner right here. Definitely a winner. All right, so I'm not even going to hold y'all. <laughs> that's, that's really all I have to say. I told y'all I would come back um, towards the end of the week and, you know, show y'all the results. How it was looking, how it was feeling, and how it was doing and all of that. And this is it. So that's all I have to report. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I want to thank y'all so much for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And definitely give me a like, um, a thumbs up um, if you enjoyed the video and if you are enjoying my videos. Let me know what you want to see next from me. Um, actually, I do have some other videos coming, but y'all can always feel free to let me know what you want me to try. Um, y'all know we have Black Friday coming up. We will see what I'm going to be getting, if I get anything at all, okay? But, um, yeah, this this is it, y'all. This, this is the results of the B-Girl. Shout out to NAV3 for sending me this. Um, I don't know when I would have potentially bought that, you know, bought this mousse. Um, but I'm glad I have it. I'm glad it's in, in my collection now. So, you know, what can I say? But anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. I'm sending y'all so much love, peace, and light. Don't forget to check out my Wax Melt um, website if you haven't already. 
shameless plug a link is in the description box below all the time also check out some of the other links i have down there other channels and stuff as well and i will see y'all in the next video bye guys Jingle.